Let's welcome David Adames from the Niagara Parks Commission. And David, tourism is starting to get back on track. What is it like with the Niagara Parks attractions? What are you seeing as far as visitation patterns? This year we are seeing a slightly different visitation pattern than what we've seen in the last couple of years. Uh, we're seeing a quieter midweek, busier weekends. Recently reopened in a phased approach, our attractions, retail outlet, actually opened our golf courses uh, in also a phased approach back in May. So golf is having a very strong uh, golf season. However, our attractions and retail outlets are a little softer uh, on the reopening side of things. So we're definitely going to be monitoring uh, visitation uh, daily, uh, weekly, making adjustments where we need to. We're also seeing many people enjoying the outdoor spaces, whether they be trails or parks. Uh, so we've seen an increased visitation down into the Niagara Glen, as an example, and we've been uh, positioning our High Angle River team uh, police officers as well as our nature interpreters uh, there to engage and educate our, our trail users, too. That's a really important factor right there, that last thing that you mentioned, because there have been some incidents in the Niagara Glen so far this year. It's an absolutely beautiful, unique ecological environment uh, in the Glen. However, there's also very challenging trail conditions in the Niagara Glen. So we, 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 actually, we always want to get the safety message out there. Uh, what we're finding is as guests explore some of these areas, it may be for the first time. So we want to make sure that they are aware of the trail conditions. So it's not like walking along a typical you know, public park or public trail. These are, uh, again, more challenging trail systems uh, down in the Glen. So we want to make sure that that safety message is out there. You have some promotions uh, going on, some uh, Tuesday promotions, Thursday promotions. Can you outline what those are? Yeah, so throughout the summer, we're offering uh, two special days during the week. Uh, so we have uh, Tooney Tuesdays, where we're offering $2 admission to attractions for youth 17 and under with an adult admission. Uh, so that's, that's admission to any of our six attractions. On those days, we're offering our Falls Incline Railway at $2. Uh, and we also have a, an offer in our quick serve food outlets, uh, Tooney Hot Dogs, on, on Tuesdays. And then uh, Thankful Thursdays. So we're recognizing essential frontline workers uh, with two-for-one admission to our attractions, heritage sites, uh, the Falls Incline Railway. So it's a great way to say thank you to all the frontline workers in Ontario who have worked really hard uh, to help our communities, uh, to help uh, keep us all safe, and to keep uh, businesses uh, running. So, of course, our six attractions, uh, Journey Behind the Falls, uh, the Floral Show House, Butterfly Conservatory, Whitewater Walk, and the Aero Car. And as soon as we're safe to do so, we'll be reopening Niagara's Fury, our heritage sites, uh, McFarland House, Laura Secord Homestead, and uh, Old Fort Erie. Uh, again, they'll be offering that uh, two-for-one admission on Thursdays and then our attractions, uh, the, the um, Tooney Tuesdays. Those are some fantastic deals. You also have a uh, nine-hole golf thing going on at the uh, Chippewa course, and uh, I'm really surprised to know that 19 years old qualifies as junior because I have a six-foot-four, 230-pound 19-year-old in my house. <laughs> Well, we're, we're very pleased as part of our uh, Niagara Parks uh, Grow the Game initiative through golf to encourage uh, folks to come out and try our nine-hole par three Chippewa course, which is located at Legends on the Niagara. Uh, so anyone, uh, again, under 19 can play for free with an adult. And it's, it's a beautiful course, great way to uh, start to get into the game of golf. Or if, you're, if you've been playing for a few years and you want to uh, improve your skills, come out to the Chippewa course. And again, 19 and under can play for free along with an adult. Every year, a lot of young people look forward to working for Niagara Parks as their summer jobs. What is the situation right now as far as employment? So 2020 has presented some, some challenges from, from a, uh, uh, an employment level perspective for Niagara Parks. Uh, we're anticipating peaking at around about 60% of our staffing level from 2019. Uh, so for example, in 2019, we peaked at about 1,800 uh, staff members. That included uh, roughly 800 students. This year, we're anticipating peaking around 900, maybe upwards of 950 uh, staff. We'll have approximately 130 to 150 students. Uh, so that's the area where uh, it has impacted employment. We're, we're very conscious of the impact on that. We are one of the larger employers in Niagara. So we're very hopeful that we'll see a, a strong uh, rebound in 2021. 
Are we going to see a return of the fireworks eventually? And again, we're monitoring the, emerg the provincial emergency orders in terms of um, social gatherings and events and crowd size, etc. So this year, right now, fireworks program is suspended uh, until uh, further notice. And again, once we get a, a sense of what we can do or can't do for uh, social gatherings and crowd sizes. And again, you've seen right across uh, the country events, uh, many which have been in place for uh, decades have had to postpone 2020. So you know, I think fireworks in that context of, of social gatherings, again, suspended for now, and we'll wait and see uh, when we get the word that we can resume that program. Thanks a lot for the update, uh, David. That's David Adames from Niagara Parks. Appreciate your time today.